I was considering um, the whole Linux versus Windows conundrum and the fact that while it is not impossible to get a Linux virus, the odds of it actually affecting your system are minimal thanks to the millions of people around the world who work on Linux and thus can patch it up pretty darn quick. Also the way the Linux architecture is built, you need a password to do pretty much anything including checking I can't even change the time and date on my on my system's clock without going in and um, without going in and uh, providing my administrative password. It's the same way on the Mac, in fact, because the Mac also is based on Unix. Um, if I were to unlock my uh, clock dialog, if I were to activate the little padlock and unlock it, in order to do that, I would have to have. Um, administrative rights. So, with the power and stability of Unix and the open source nature of Linux came an idea. And the idea is to create a distribution and this is just an idea. Okay, let me just make this clear. This is just an idea. This is not an actual distribution. Um, the idea, I call it safeguard. And Safeguard would be a minimalist distribution, and um, I would prefer to base it off of something, and I'm just going to use Ubuntu as, as an example because that's the one I've used the most. Um, so let's just say, for example, that Safeguard is based off of Ubuntu. The, the idea is that we would have the Ubuntu base system and only one application. We wouldn't even have a GUI. It would just be one application, and that application is VirtualBox. So essentially, the way it would work is we boot up uh, Safeguard Linux and it runs the normal boot up process and then it immediately goes in. There's no GUI, so it's really fast, so it'll be really fast because there is no graphical user interface intended for this. And um, it boots up VirtualBox. Or um, we could do what Wubi is doing, which was to make, which is to have, um, basically, in Wubi Linux uses a folder on the Windows side as a hard drive. We could do the same thing for the Windows side. In other words, it would be a virtual machine without an emulator. But regardless of how we do it, the idea is that Safeguard Linux boots, and then Windows boots on top of Linux. And this way, you would have your Windows, you would have your Windows compatibility. You would have your Windows. Um, you know, your way of doing things in Windows, but you would have the stability and the security and the open um, aspect of Linux. And this is just, you know, the way I'd like, this is just the way I'd like to uh, go about it, but the idea here is that with Safeguard Linux, you can kiss viruses goodbye because Windows would not necessarily be running directly on the hardware, though it would be able to utilize it. Um, it would be running on top of... Um, it's kind of like sleeping on the floor versus sleeping on the bed, if you want to call it, if you want to put it that way. Sleeping on the floor is very uncomfortable. And sleeping on the bed, well, that's very comfortable because you have... The bed protects you from the floor, in a sense. Basically, it divides you from the floor because the bed is between you and the floor. Linux would be sitting between Windows and um, the outside world. And the idea here is that Linux or Linux would be the bed in this case, and Windows would be sleeping on the bed of Linux versus sleeping on the floor of a million and one viruses. So um, if people people say, oh, I only use Windows because of the compatibility, that is true. A lot of things are compatible, you know, with Windows. But I think that if we could build a system where we could get rid of all the Windows viruses, malware, and spyware, then that would be, you know, that would be ideal. And I think it would actually make people want to use Windows if we could get rid of that. And that is where the idea, again, like I said earlier, this is only an idea, um, that is where the idea of Safeguard Linux comes in. Essentially, like I said before, it's just a minimalist distribution designed to boot Windows but operate the Linux kernel underneath for protection purposes. And, um, I mean, it's one of those things that's easier said than done. Because, again, 
um, we could use we could have it boot into virtual box and run Windows that way but the trouble is then that you have to um, as far as I know virtual box does not support the high-end graphics so then we have a bunch of um, a bunch of um, ruckus from the gaming community which I understand so then we could try what doing what Wubi does which was to which is based in layman's terms um, it creates a folder on the Windows hard drive to to have Linux use as a, ver as a hard drive. Um, that folder on the Windows side is Linux's hard drive, even though it's not touching the Windows drive at all. Um, if we could do, if we could basically take the procedure and flip flop it so that it would use, it would have Windows use a folder on the Linux side as a hard drive. Um, you know, something along those lines. Um, or something. Basically, the idea, like I said, is to have a minimalist Linux distribution that boots straight into Linux. It, it gets Linux up and running and then boots into Windows for, you know, like I said, the the compatibility and the familiar, the familiar, the, excuse me, the familiarity of Windows with Linux underneath. And then on top of that, the only GUI part of um, Safeguard would essentially be a control panel. And this control panel would have the ability to shut down Windows and expose the Safeguard terminal in which a person who is familiar with Linux can go in and make any corrections if needed. Um, again, this is only an idea, but I think, I think, um, you know, I think this would be a good one because if we get rid of the Windows viruses completely, um, I think that would make more people want to use Windows and well not necessarily want to use it. I mean we're all forced to use Windows but in the sense of actually being happier while using it but again this is just an idea these are just my thoughts but I'd like to hear what you think of it uh, thank you for watching comments are welcome and have a nice day